Increasingly, society is becoming automated. Um, the world of work has been automated for many years now. We see um, shopping centres where we now have automated checkout systems. Uh, when you go into a fast food place, there's often an automated system for selecting your food. Farms and other industries have been automated progressively over many years. But we're also now seeing the automation of homes with various automation devices being built into um, consumer products at home. There's various devices where you can speak commands and receive information such as Siri and Google Home and things of this nature. And these can be connected up to other devices such as televisions where you can turn them on and off or change channels. You can adjust the temperature on air conditioners. Um, you can have it linked to your security systems with uh, cameras and smoke detectors and various other tools and even connected to devices such as fridges where you can monitor what food is being stored in the fridge or even toilets which can monitor um, details of your transactions in that space. So there are lots and lots of these devices and there was a framework for developing these called Internet of Things where are lots and lots of um, tools and technologies can communicate with one another and we can use these then to solve problems such as we can have a little device that detects vibrations and it can be attached to a toothbrush to measure how many times we move our toothbrush up and down and keep a measure of that and the students can make that as a, as a device for solving problems around um, dental hygiene or they could create a small device that creates an alarm system if anyone enters their room. So there are many, many of these tools that students can use to solve problems, which remember is the core focus of technology's education. So think about the various Internet of Thing devices that might be a part of your home and how you could incorporate some of those into a school setting such as a video camera that can detect faces and so you could use that for role marking or various devices where students can send signals um, having a pressing a button and a light um, flashing to indicate they want to ask a question so lots and lots of these tools can be applied to many different purposes problem solving now one technology um, that can link these devices is called If Then Then That, which is a website that's set up that can um, be given access to various devices. And so when something happens, you can have something else happen, such as when your mobile phone is comes within range of your house, it will automatically make the garage door open or the lights turn on. So these devices can form a complex network of processes, digital systems, that can make our lives more convenient and effective and solve various problems. And your students can use these to solve their own problems. Now the activity I've set you is to use If Then Then That to send you an automated email. So on a particular date and time each year, your birthday, it will send you a, meet, a greeting to your email address saying con congratulations, happy birthday. So think about then how other uses this technology could be put to in your teaching about digital systems.